Hello everyone, today in this video we will speak about virtual currency and money laundering. So what is a virtual currency or a cryptocurrency? It is a medium of exchange that operates in digital space. It can be converted into either a government issued currency or can be substitute for a real currency. So there are two type of virtual currencies. One is centralized virtual currency that have centralized repository and single administrator. So for example, Liberty Reserve, decentralized virtual currency, which have no repository or admin, but work as peer to peer media, media of exchange without any need of an intermediary for example bitcoin so let also understand how it, it works so there are three main parties first a user is a person that obtain virtual currency and an exchanger is a person engage as a business in the exchange of virtual currency for real currency and administrator is a person engage as a person in issuing a virtual currency in a typical transaction scenario a user has an established virtual wallet or an account with an exchanger to conduct a transaction the user acquire virtual currency from the exchanger which allows the user to transfer funds in and out of that account in relation to bitcoin in a transfer between two individual no personally identifiable information is disclosed to the two individual or to any third party intermediaries while each transaction is registered in the blockchain and the publicly available distributed ledger which provide valuable information beyond a traditional cash to cash exchange. It does not provide the actual identities behind the corresponding wallet. Thus, the know your customer is important component of a legitimate exchanger email program. Now, let's also understand risk associated with virtual currency. It gives ability for criminal to conduct international transfer while maintaining a level of anonymity. Ability, inability of law enforcement or government to stop a transaction or seize certain activity. Difficulty in assessing sanction or terrorist financing exposure. A technology is, is a fairly complex which require uh, a sourcing of a professional to understand the whole uh, concept and also to identify the audit trail. Still we, we say a uh, virtual currency uh, like Bitcoin is being used by different people uh, and we also keep on hearing uh, like some of our friend have bought Bitcoin. But we can still say that it's, it's still a gray area for, uh, for all, all the countries. Uh, that is the reason like some of uh, the country has, uh, has start regulating the virtual currency and some of them have still defined it as a illegal form of uh, exchange and then the country which ha are have started regulating or started uh, defining uh, laws to regulate uh, virtual currency or cryptocurrency have not recognized it as a legal currency so they have uh, recognized as a medium of exchange and they are regulating uh, these exchanges or these uh, uh, virtual currency for only for the purpose of uh, exchange or a barter system. Although every country understand 
the concept of blockchain is is quite useful so they are trying to use blockchain in uh, in, in different processes different field altogether so with that in mind i'll end this presentation and thank you so much for listening i hope i'm able to add something to your knowledge have a nice day